so awesome to have everybody come out and celebrate this day with us. If it wasn't for this place, it would be so hard for us. Today, local residents are celebrating the fifth anniversary of the Southside Health and Wellness Center, located on the south shore of Francois Lake in north central BC. It's a celebration of cooperation. When this clinic was first talked about, everybody was involved. And the way I looked at it is, you know, born and raised on the south side, we raised up with those non-Aboriginal people. They were good friends of ours. We all got along, we helped one another. Historically, the Southside community faced a common problem in remote communities, access to primary health care. The closest full service clinic was in the town of Burns Lake. We're 20 some odd kilometers from town, but when you factor the ferry ride into it, you factor waiting if you miss a ferry, sometimes it's a three to four hour trip into town. Southside's remote location compounded existing health-related problems for many of its residents, who might have to rely on friends and family to physically get them to Burns Lake for necessary routine care. There's a high instance of diabetes, um, chronic kidney disease um, in both populations really, but uh, we're seeing it probably the prevalence is even a bit higher in the First Nations population. Ten years ago, Chief Marvin Charlie of the Cheslata Carrier Nation decided to pursue the goal of building a health center for residents of the South Side. The challenge? A lack of resources. His solution was for three local bands to jointly fund the health center's construction. We negotiated with Health Canada, Skintai and Itai Bun, and we started negotiating with those two bands and then it looked like a go when another portion of it came into the picture um, in Marvin's eye and that was to include the non-native community from the south side into the community facility. Today they have a health and wellness facility managed collectively by five different employers each of whom contributes resources that service the entire community. So it started out as um, a whole bunch of people working in the same building, but I wouldn't really have called us a multidisciplinary team. Over the years, we've understood each other's jobs better. We understand each other's roles in the community, and we've now actually formed a really cohesive team where we actually are delivering multidisciplinary care to a group of people who have wide-ranging needs. The team will expand later this year when Dr. John Polovich begins working at Southside. We're very much in a work as a team model where people from different areas of, of healthcare work together towards the common good of the patient. So it's patient-centered care. So these are teams of people rather than individual operators working in little silos. Addictions, um, chronic disease, um, poverty, None of them exist in isolation within the family, and no one practitioner is trained to deal with everything. Most of the community members know that if they come here, they're going to be able to see more than one person. Uh, in Northern Health, um, we've, we've committed to the idea that the uh, best way to make the change to that model is by letting the local providers work together in new ways themselves and figure out how that model will work. Today's event is a celebration of a community that found a way to work together. Look at all the people that come out and support this place and they come here on a daily basis so I think it's just growing and it, I think it's awesome though. <laughs> For Health Council Representative Dave Richardson, the Southside Health and Wellness Centre is an important model for remote communities. It's uh, demonstrating success in addressing the health of the community and taking advantage of all of the um, advances in primary health care, chronic disease management, uh, health records, um, electronic health records. Uh, it's, um, it's a success story in all ways. We need to tell everybody that it is possible for all of these different groups all these different health care providers, we, we can work together. Health doesn't have a color. It's um, something that we all you know, have to take care of, um, regardless of what ethnic group we belong to. So I do believe that this is a, a, a model that um, could be used in other communities.